Good day everyone. In this video today, I will show you how to send PDF from phone to laptop. So to do this, firstly, let's check our phone to see the PDF we are sending to the laptop. So let's firstly go to your file manager, then you select anywhere you have the PDF file. So mine is on, let me just go to the folder right here. Then, as you can see, here is my folder on my file manager, which has the internal storage and SD card. You can just select any one on your phone. So let's scroll down, as you can see, here is my internal storage. Then you can just scroll down to anywhere you have the PDF. So my, own, my, my PDF is on download. So let's go to download. So let's scroll down to see the PDF file. That I will be sending to my laptop PDF PDF. Okay, I'll be using this one, which is the an introduction to Web 3.0 and FTF by iDrive PDF. As you can see right here, here's the PDF I'll be using. So where is this file located? When we look at the top of the screen right here, you see that right here, you see that the file is on internal shared storage. Then it's on download so that's where the file is located so you have to note where the file is located before you proceed on your pc so the next thing for you to do is to take your usb cable connect your usb cable to your phone so let me connect it right now then you connect the second hand to your pc so let me do that right now all right so when you're done connecting it this will automatically pop up the next thing for you to do is to click on file transfer as you can see right here we have three lists the next thing for you to do is to click on file transfer so let's click on it then when not clicking on it, you give it some seconds, then it will be connected to your PC. Right now, the next thing for us to do is to switch back to the PC to continue with this tutorial. So right now, I'm on my PC. So the next thing for you to do is to go to my computer. If you are using Windows 7, or Windows SP or Windows. But if you are using Windows 10, what you have to do is just, is just to go to this PC. So to do that, what you have to do is to click on, okay, here on this Windows, I'm using Windows 10. So whichever one you are using, either you are using Windows 7 or Windows 10, what you have to do is just to press a window E. Long, long press the window, then tap on the E button on your keyboard to open this computer or my computer. So as you can see right now, when you click on the window here, if you are using Windows 7, it will take you direct to my computer. Or if you are using Windows 10, it will take you direct to this place right here. The next thing for you to do is to click on, is to scroll to the edge right here. As you can see, you can scroll down. Then you click on this PC, as you can see. Click on it to continue. So right now, here is this PC. So right now, as you can see, here is my phone, which is the Redmi 90, which I've just connected. As you can see, the process will take to connect it. So the next thing for you to do is to open the Redmi 90 or any, or any type of phone you are using. Just double click on it to open. So right now, as you can see, here is an um, internal storage and here is an um, SD card. So, so the other time, I say you should take note of where you have the PDF file if it's on internal storage or SD card. So mine is on internal storage, which I've told you the other time. So let me click on internal storage. Double click for it to open. So you give it some time for it to load. So right now, here is my internal storage. The next thing for me to do is to click on download. Because I've told you the other time. So let me double click on download to continue. 
So right now it's loading, it's loading everything on download. So the next thing for you to do is just to search for the file name. As you can see, you can use this one to search, and you can also scroll down to search for the file name. So the file name is an introduction to Web 3.0 and NTF by Android. So the next thing for you to do is to right click on this so as to copy the file then you click on copy to continue so when done you can then minimize this one right here so you can go to any location on your pc then you paste the copied file to it so as for me i'll be pasting the file to my desktop so let's right click then paste so right now as you can see here is the file which has been copied and pasted to your desktop. So that was all to do this. Hope this video helped. Please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.